Well, I must say, I hope we're feasting on terrific football here in Spain's gastronomic capital, San Sebastián. We're at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Sociedad up against Real Betis. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Great atmosphere here. The two sides, I'm sure, will set a quick tempo in this game. We get to watch for free. The players are chomping at the bit. I can't wait. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Porto starts with Oya Sabal in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. And in with a real chance. And he's in an offside position. Nabil Fekir. It's with William Carvalho. Fekia. And the decision is one of offside here. David Silva. Silva. Subeldia. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can he put them in front? What an important piece of defending. Played into the centre of the box. And he wasn't messing around with the clearance. It needs an accurate cross. And it's with Isaac. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Canales. Oh, big chance. Is it going to be? In it goes at the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. 1-0 then. Delightful pass. Real danger. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And he's won the ball. Alex Moreno. Well, far from textbook defending. The delivery towards the back first. And the danger still on. It might be on for them. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they survived the attack. Mikel Marino. David Silva. Silva. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter attack is absolutely fantastic. Joaquin. Giving the ball away. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Options in the centre. Joaquin. Over the byline. Hence a goal kick. David Silva. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And making his move inside. 
Can he get them level? That is a tackle and a half. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Emerson. And it's with Rodriguez. Rodriguez. William Carvalho. Alex Moreno. Rodriguez. Slipshot passing. Isaac. It's with Mikel Marino. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Still could be dangerous. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Rodriguez. In possession, Fekir. Antonio Sanabria. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, it fizzled out. Joaquin. Emerson. And it's with Sanabria. Well, he's got past his man. Perfect tackle. For two. Well read to put an end to that attack. Antonio Sanabria. In possession, Fekir. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And he's taken it away. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Antonio Sanabria. No possibilities inside the box. And a tidy tackle and snuffing out the danger. And he's won the ball. Counter-attacking, very much an option. On and on he goes. And it's with Isaac. That's a routine take. Just ten minutes to go. Well, still pressing for a goal here. Isaac. He's lost it. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can they get in behind them? This could finish it. Really good diving save. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And firing it into the area. The end product just wasn't there. Subeldia couldn't keep it. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. Mikel Marino. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts?